those good people today we're going to be looking at victor so today we're going to be doing an advanced guide i feel like i have enough time with the character understanding how to use the character stances effectively his lows so we're going to dive into each element of victor's gameplay before i start the video do me a favor like comment subscribe like him will help with the algorithm commenting will help with the algorithm and then subscribing will let me know that you enjoy the content let's get into it so let's start off by kind of describing what sort of character victor is so Victor's actually very versatile. He has good generic tools. He has good jabs, a good down foot one, decent low pokes. He has decent movement. His sidestep is not the best, even though it looks like he's moving really far. He still does get clipped. So that's his hurt box coming into play. So in turn, that affects his sidestep. So his sidestep isn't the best, but overall his movement is decent. Not the best, not the worst. Overall decent movement. And he has good generic tools. So good down foot one, good jabs. The jab strings so stuff like this he has mix-ups within his jabs he has good low pokes the frames aren't the best but we will discuss the frames i feel like for what they are trying to do they do it well so they annoy your opponent very very well down three is really really good the range is great this low is good as well down four so the first low was down three second low is down four we're gonna dive into his lows a little bit but for what they are trying to do, his lows are very good. He has easy access to plus moves. So running two is his kind of main plus tool. He has good homing tools. So all four two is his best homing tool kind of at long range to stop the opponent from stepping. And then back four is really good because on counter hit, you are plus 14. So you can get, it's the same situation as the back two parry. So this would be, or you can do forward 4-1 four, so you can either do forward 4-2 four, after it to force crouch or you can do forward 4-1 four, four, to go into heat so again victor is very versatile as a character you can play him quite lame with just generic tools down forward one those count it tools or you can play him very very aggressive run in two and then force stance mixes he has really good conditioning tools um so i feel like the power level of some of his moves are really high but running two for example, it can be stepped, but it, it has weird tracking at times. So that's Victor in a nutshell. He can be played very patiently. He can be played very turtle-like, or he can be played very, very aggressive with stances. So let's get into neutral. So what are Victor's best moves in neutral? So I'm going to just start off by talking about generic tools again. So his jabs are really good. 1-1, one, one, which can be hit confirmed. So his 10 frame punish is 1-1-2, one, one, which is really, really nice. 27 damage. And you can actually hit confirm this. As most 1-1-2s in the game. See what I mean? So you can actually delay when you press the 2. Look at the command history. So I'm not pressing 1-1-2 straight away. I'm waiting to see if the 1-1 hits. And then I'm pressing 2. So you can actually hit confirm that string. Now 1-2 has 1-2-1. One, one. And that actually... It's a counter hit animation. It actually insta screws, insta tail spins, or insta tornado screw attack. I don't know what to call it yet. Let's just call it tornado spin. So it insta tornado spins. So if they press here, they're going to get launched. So that's also very good. It is unsafe on block. So we're going to let the opponent to block all. So minus 12 on block, but it's kind of a respect thing. So it's Victor's mental frames are really good. Same with Raven. So Victor and Raven in that regard play quite similar in terms of mental frames and mental stacks. So yeah, that's 1-1 one, one, and 1-2 one, and 1-2-1. One, one. So he has very good jab strings. Now his down forward 1 is also another tool that can be used as a mental frame tool because he has down forward 1, which is just a generic I-13 down forward 1, 30 frames. And it also has an extension, which is quite difficult to duck launch. So you can duck the high extension and punish it but it has a lot of active frames so it is difficult to duck and launch it so again you have that mental power you can just keep throwing out down forward ones if the opponent knows about down forward one one you can actually catch them trying to do extra stuff so victor in that regard also has very good mental frames from his down forward one so that's jabs down forward one his longer range attacks forward one plus two does a lot of chip damage which is also a heat engager so this will go into heat. We're going to talk about heat separately, but just to show you that it goes into heat and is a heat launcher as well. So that's forward one plus two. Now it does a lot of chip on block, but it's minus nine on block. And the whiff recovery is really bad. As you can see, like look at the whiff recovery. 
That's a free whiff punish. That's a free launch. And it's quite linear depending on the situation. So if I just do it here, it will be quite linear. And I feel like this tool is good for Oki. So, for example, if you punish them with of forward one one, you will be in range for a forward one plus two. There's nothing they can do. So, in that regard, it is quite a versatile move as well because it has a lot of range and does a lot of chip damage and can be used for Oki situations as well. So, that's forward one plus two. That's a long range move. Another long range move is down two. So, the range on down two is really good. So, this does a lot of chip and is also a heat engager. So, on the hit properties, you can see... A kind of purple icon that means the move is a heat engager so if i do down forward one it's going to go away because that's not a heat engager so you can tell what moves i'm doing are heat engagers by that icon and i'm going to show you in the move list as well so as you can see here forward one plus two and down two both have that icon back one plus two as well but i haven't covered that yet so that's down two let's just show the heat engage so yeah this move is good. Also a heat launcher. So if we cancel heat. So also a heat launcher. So yeah, down two is quite good. It's quite an oppressive move. And yeah, it's just a long range mid that you can use to get into heat easily. That's down two. I guess another long range move would be run in two. Because it has a lot of range upon activation. So look how far. Look how far it's projecting him after I press two got quite a bit of range and it does a lot of chip plus five on block and this move has a nice property where if it's on counter hit it insta tornado screws so that's the combo you would do from that but yeah this move is very very oppressive and it's kind of just an easy way to get plus frames the only thing I would say is refrain from using it, spamming it, because good players will sidestep it, launch it, and it is pretty bad on whiff. If I intentionally whiff it, it is really bad on whiff. So that's the thing with Victor. He's very committal. If you're going to do something more often than not, it's going to have a lot of whiff recovery. That's the one thing I will say about Victor. But this move is still really, really good. Not going to downplay it. It's excellent. So that's running two. Now let's look at forward forward two. Forward forward two is used as a whiff punisher because it's a launcher but also it can be used as kind of a tool to track because the longer range it is the more tracking it has if you do it at point blank it's not going to have, have as much tracking so this move although it sounds scrubby can be used to catch the opponent in movement so it's, it's kind of a random launcher and at that range because it is launch on block but it has pushback so i'm going to show you what that looks like so it's minus 16 on block but look at the pushback it is actually really difficult to launch especially if you space it so it's going to be really hard to launch so that's one thing you you can actually space it to be really hard to punish look at the distance between the characters so crazy move crazy range kind of integral to combos as well this is his main screw attack so his homing attacks victor's tracking isn't the best but he has really really good homing moves back four i showed earlier in the video back four is a quick ish homing move because it's uh, 18 frames but it's quite quick for a homing move and on normal hit it does nothing but on, on counter hit so normal hit just kind of gives a ballerina spin quite plus plus 13 on hit and then on counter hit plus 14 so if you want to go into heat you can do with forward or one and then if you're already in heat so let's cancel heat let's do the counter hit so you can get some nice damage from that as well now actually the combo would be this so yeah 66 damage for a homing move in heat it's crazy so that's back four and then you can also do this on counter hit so let's show that forward for two and then now he's in a plus five position the opponent's force crouch so you have an opportunity to frame chat with one plus two so i'm going to show you the sequence if they press they get count hit launched so that's a good sequence to do now let's talk about up for two up for two is his longest range homing attack it has crazy crazy range look at the range of this move 
It's it's honestly one of his best moves in neutral. Um, plus seven on hit, so this is actually a frame trap. They have the low parry here. Frame trap. Same with this. One plus two. Down foot one. So a lot of his moves are actually frame traps after up foot two. Up foot two is really, really, really good. The only thing I will say is it's slightly slow, so I wouldn't spam it, but I I would recommend to use it because it's 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 a really good long range homing mid that can stop stepping can stop movement and one thing with victor is you want to stop them stepping you want to stop the movement because then you'll get access to running moves the moves that do chip forward one plus two down two these moves are typically linear in most situations there are situations where they can track but you do want to stop him from stepping. So up for two and back four are really, really excellent options for that. So those are kind of his main mid attacks. Let's look at some lows. Previously mentioned his lows are not the best on block. Let's go through his lows. So down three is his main oak low because it's minus 13 on block and it has really good range. Like look at the range of this. I'm going to try and almost range three. So maybe like range 2.8. Let's try. Yeah, so around 2.8-ish. So it's got some nice range for a low. So that's down three. Does nothing on counter hit. Minus 13 on block. Minus two on hit. Now, again, for what these lows are trying to do, they don't need to be plus on hit. It gives you enough frames to step. You can still step at minus two. So if they retaliate with a jabbed or down forward one, most likely you can step it. So again, for what the lows are trying to do, it's sufficient enough. It's very annoying. And yeah, it's just a good poke low. His next poke low is down four. So doesn't do that much damage on normal hit. This is minus 14 on block. So actually, let me show you down three on block. So minus 13 on block. But then let's do down four, minus 14 on block. What is interesting about this move is that it has a nice counter hit animation. So on counter hit, it does 30 damage. So if you do down four and dash forward one plus two, um, that will cover all options. It will cover both side rolls and holding back. So slightly dash. And that will hit grounded. And it will also catch holding back. They're going to block it. So yeah, that situation is really good for Oki. And it does a lot of damage. So yeah, that's another poke low. He has a good round ender, which is 1-3. So you know those typical jab low and a round enders. It's good that they gave him one of these. This is a, a great round ender type of string and it could be used to annoy the opponent this also gives mental stack because people that know he has a low from it will sometimes be looking out for it so again single jab now they're gonna duck or low parry and it gives you extra frames to work with a little bit so again his jab strings and his generic tools are really really good every generic tool he has has some sort of string or some sort of mental stack element to it so that's why Victor's really, really annoying to deal with. So his big low, his power low, is down back four. And it has insane range. Like, look at the range of this low. Let's see. Range three. Hits from range three. Range 3.1. So it just misses. So I would say about range 3.05. I know we're getting technical, but this is an advanced guide. So let's just say range three. I'm trying to... Yeah. So range three. A little bit above range three. So this low is insane. It's hard to step. And it's a counter hit launcher. Just as an example combo. So he does a lot of damage given the right launcher. So yeah, that's down back four, which also leaves him with full crouch. So let's look at the full crouch low. So he actually has a full crouch low, which is full crouch one plus two. So you actually press, you can't press down, forward, one, plus two. It's actually full crouch. So I'm holding down and I press one, plus two. Oh, so that's that low. Yeah, so this low is minus 23 on block. So launch punishable. But again, for what he's trying to do, it's excellent. It provides mental stack. It provides him with a good full crouch game. But you can also go into Perfuma from whilst standing one, plus two. I'm going to mention that a little bit more. Full crouch low is really good. After down back four, puts me full crouch. And then, yeah, you can go for a mix. So on hit is zero. So gives him enough frames to step. As I said, his lows are not the best frame-wise, but what they're trying to do, they're sufficient. We have enough frames to work with for 
you know, what we're trying to do, what mental stack we're trying to enforce. And then, yeah, those are his lows. He has lows from stance, but we're going to cover those in the stances section of the video. So that's kind of his neutral game covered in a nutshell. Those are kind of the best moves I'd recommend to use in neutral. The last move I want to talk about in neutral, which again is mental stack, is back one. So back one is really good because it can transition into Perfuma, so back one forward. And it also has an extension, which on normal hit does this. So if they try to step or if they try to press, they will get counter hit by this. And it does a lot of damage. And again, this leaves them in a really crazy Oki situation. As you can see, the dash forward one plus two will catch all options because if he, if he rolls back now, let's do that again. Yeah, he's still going to have to eat that. The back one is good and you can also use it in combos like this, stuff like that. So um, yeah, back one is good. One more because I said last one, but one more. So down back one one can also transition into Perfuma with down back one one forward. And again, you can just do this by itself as a mid check. This is safe as a mid check as well. So it's just a mid check. It's kind of like Noctis is down back. I think it's down back one, one plus two. Not quite as good, but similar type move. And it can't be, it can't be parried because it's a knife attack. There's one low that I forgot as well, which is down one. This also can't be low parried because it is a knife attack. So this is not natural on normal hit. It's not a combo on normal hit. So this move does not actually jail. So he gets hit by the first low and he can still block. Interestingly, he can't... If if it hits, it jails, which means you can see it's a low high, right? But if he gets hit with the first hit, you actually can't duck the second hit. So I'm going to select crouch block. Yeah, he, he has to stand up and block it. So that's a good thing. If it, if it hits, there's no risk of you getting duck launched. Now, the problem comes if they do block. The whole thing so you know they're gonna be able to duck launch you for that so yeah it's only a natural combo on counter hit so i'm gonna i'm gonna actually set him to block after the first hit yeah it's it's a combo so there's there's nothing he can do about it but that's down one one now down one one is good as a kind of round ender type low if they want to low parry in the clutch but i think his other lows are better down three down four and this round ender is better as well i mean the only the only time i would say this is good is kind of like if you know they're a low parrier rather than uh you know a low blocker some some players do like to just low parry flash low parry but this will catch them out with the low because this is you can't low parry this low so um in that regard i think it just depends on the type of opponent you're fighting down one is good if they low parry and on block this move is minus 17 on block by itself but it works in a way where if i do this you can still mash your punish out so regardless if you see this low you can actually just launch it every time there's no mix up to duck launch it because it jails so it's it's an okay low it's not great i, I would say it's not great he has other better lows so down three down four for example even the full crash low i think is a better low Okay, let's look at Perfuma. So Perfuma is his forward three stance. So this is used to cover the space. So you can cover the space pretty quickly. And most attacks out of this move, out of this stance transition are going to hit because they, they have range out of the stance. So Perfuma one is a low, which on counter hit just gives additional frames into full crouch. Minus 13 on block. So let's show you that. So some characters can launch it. So I know Kaz can launch this move and some characters have very, very good 13 frame punishes. So yeah, be careful using it, but I'd say it is a really, really, really good low just because of the range it has. And it can you it can be used on Oki as well with like down back one one. So that's Perfuma one. Perfuma two is, you wouldn't do that by itself. You would do Perfuma two two or a mix. Honestly, Perfuma two, 2-2, two, 2-2-1, two, 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 and 2-2-1 two, two, plus 2 are used in combos. Like, you, I wouldn't really recommend using this string kind of normally. I mean, I guess you could if you condition. Again, Victor's conditioning. So he has strings. So on counter hit. So if you counter hit them with the high, it's actually a launcher. So that's a counter hit launcher. And then 
if they want to duck the high, because that is actually a high move. He has Perfuma 2 2, 1 plus 2 with Oki. So, in that regard, yes, you can use it, but using those strings will be able to set you up for Perfuma 2 2, which goes into EI stance. And um, yeah, you can enforce mix ups from this stance as well. But again, Victor's all about conditioning, so I think you'd have to hit them with a Perfuma 2 2 1 first before you can go for a Perfuma 2 2 1 into EI. So that's my opinion on Perfuma 2 2 and Perfuma 2 2 1. So, Perfuma 2 2 1 gives the high spin. So that's why I said you would use it in combos. But that gives that spin, that high spin. So that's Perfuma 2 2, 2 2 1, and 2 2 1 plus 2. So let's look at Perfuma 4. It's just back 4, but from stance. And again, this will give the same counter hit. So there's nothing really to explain. It's just back four, but from stance. So that's Perfuma four. And a lot of people figure out that you can step a lot of options in Perfuma. So especially Perfuma three, which is one of his best moves. And Perfuma one plus two, which is also one of his best moves because it's plus. So that brings me on to Perfuma three, which is a heat engager and can be used for like combo enders as well. So Perfuma three. So down back 1-1 one, one, Perfuma 3 can be used for combo enders if you don't want to do if you don't want to use heat or you don't want to do this you can just opt for like either back 1 Perfuma 3 or down back 1-1 one, one, Perfuma 3 so use as a combo but then Perfuma 3 by itself is good for a mix it's quite an oppressive mid because look at the range that's crazy range look at the range of that let's look at Perfuma 1 plus 2 so Perfuma 1 plus 2 is doesn't do anything on counter hit. It just knocks down as normal and it's plus. So it's plus four on block. This is good for just checking with a mid check. Does quite a bit of chip. And uh, yeah, it's just a plus, plus mid. Nothing really more to say about it. It can be good on Oki as well if you knock them down and then delay, delay this option. It can catch them. But it's not great on Oki. It can whiff a lot of times. It's just good for mixing up players that keep wanting to look out for Perfuma 1 and then you also have Perfuma 3 for it and Perfuma 1 plus 2 so those are kind of your low mid mix-up options and then you have this mind game as well so that's Perfuma in a nutshell he can also do Perfuma full crouch so he kind of does a crouch dash into full crouch now this doesn't give him any extra moves it just allows him to be in full crouch so he, there's no extra hidden options from it so this is while standing four, as you can see. So he just goes into full crouch. So that's all it does. So that is Perfuma, which is forward three and then down forward. So then he goes into full crouch. So this would be good if you want to be really, really aggressive with the mix. Something like that or a really, really hard read. So yeah, that's Perfuma uh, crouch dash. It's not really a crouch dash. It just kind of goes into full crouch. So that's Perfuma stance in a nutshell. Okay, let's touch upon EI stance. So Right off the bat, I will say, I think Perfuma is the better stance because it's easier to apply. The eye is a stance that requires, if you do want to apply it in terms of mix-up potential, it has to come from conditioning as well. That is the premise of Victor's game plan is conditioning, in my opinion. AI is a stance that really does require conditioning because pretty much everything he does out of it is unsafe other than 1 plus 2 or AI 1, 1 plus 2, which is plus. But then the rest are kind of like, even if you want to cancel, he's unsafe. This is unsafe on block. This is unsafe on block. This is unsafe on block. Like everything is unsafe on block. It really is a committal stance. So that's why I think Perfuma is a safer stance, is easier to apply, has better range. This one is good for catching wake ups. So it's really good on Oki. So I will say that it is really good on Oki because he has threatening options and he becomes more powerful in EI in heat as well. So he has a big power low as well. So he can be very annoying once he's in it, but to get into it is very difficult, especially against good players. The one thing I will say is it is quite useful in combos. So this is good for wall carry and then this is good for a wall combo as well. So you can actually use it in combos a lot, but let's cover his options. So let's start with EI1. EI1 is a mid, it has an extension, EI11 one, one, and EI11 one, one plus 2. So it's a kind of a high mid mix up. So this is a mid, this is a high, plus 3 on block. And then you can also cancel EI11 one, one with down. 
or three plus four. I prefer down, but you can press either or. This one is good. Against good players, they will either look out for this one to duck and launch it or to punish because it's minus 14 on block. Duck and launch. So you can use this to your advantage and go for mix-ups. Stuff like that. So it is hard to apply. I'm not going to downplay that, but it's just a very committal stance. So that's EI 1, 1, 1, 1 plus 2 and 1, 1 cancel. EI 2 is just a safe long range mid. So this is good again for the kind of the Oki mix up. So you can do this as the low options or if you want to even mix up a mid and high, you can mix up because look at look at the range. The range is ridiculous. So yeah, you can definitely mix up the, these attacks because these have really, really long, long range, um, long reach. Like look at the reach of this move. And then similarly with EI2, similar range, a bit less range, I would say. So still really, really good range. So safe, wall splatting mid, also use as a tailspin attack, the basic combo. So that's where you would use EI2. So this is the basic BNB. This is the easy one you would do. But then the hard one, or the harder one, would be this one, because this one does more damage. So this move, EI4, is a Poklo, which is plus three. So, I, I mean, it just, his options don't give him enough frames to actually go for stuff, because even if you do the mid, this is gonna now trade with the jab. So it's like, you know, the only option now he has is Power Crush. And that's minus 14 on block. So I'm going to show you. Yeah, so minus 14 on block. So again, just to reiterate, he does really need conditioning for this stance. But anyway, let's cover it. So this is EI4. So this move is minus 13 on block. But it has an extension. So if they try to punish it, they're going to get hit with this move. So the full string is actually natural on counter hit. So... If the low hits and then he blocks, he won't be able to block it. So I'm going to do normal hit. So he's going to be able to block the high. Now on counter hit, full combo, which is quite nice damage, 44 damage. And it breaks the wall. So he can really get massive damage on certain stages. Do I mean it is a good move? It's just very, very committal, as most of his stuff in stances are. So that's EI4 and EI4 2. So kind of a mix up to punish. Let's look at EI3. Now, EI3 is a move that you would use if you think they're going to press or you know they press a lot in the stance. This is a move where, because it's a power crush, you can actually absorb hits. So, as previously mentioned, this is plus three. It's going to trade with a jab this move, this sequence. So doing EI4 into EI1 is not really a frame trap. It It is, but it isn't because it will trade with a jab. So instead of doing EI1, you can go for EI3. But again, it's very committal because it's minus 14 on block. So Victor in this stance is very, very read heavy. So it is a good stance, but again, very, very committal. So that's EI3. EI down two. Let's look at EI down two first. So EI down two is just a power mid. It does a lot of chip on block and in heat as well. So let's activate heat. Let's look at the chip first. So the chip damage is actually quite a lot and it's plus one. So in heat now, it does a lot of chip. There's a lot of chip and it's plus eight. So his heat attacks in stance are really good or his heat power up moves in stance are really good so again i'm going to show you plus eight on block and there's a lot more chip so you can actually go for more stuff from the heat version of that move really really nice in heat i would say it's a sick move now we're going to look at ei down one plus two so that was down two down one plus two so again power low doesn't do anything on counter it doesn't do anything in heat it's just a massive power low so big big read and then on hit, kind of gives a Oki situation. Oh, 
But that's if he gets up. Now, if he side rolls. Let's put side Yukemi and side roll left. Now, if you do dash, forward one plus two. Same situation. It will hit. You have to dash though, because if you do it straight away, it will, it will win. See, you have to kind of dash to realign. But this is still a really good situation. But you can hit with delayed forward forward two. As you can see. So there are plenty of options you can do. Launch in the back, stuff like that. So it's just up to you to kind of explore that okay situation. But again, massive power low. And it does a lot of damage as well. 30 damage for a low. Crazy and good okay situation. But again, very minus on block and is a big, big read. So that's the premise for this stance. Big, big read stance. So that's EI in a nutshell. We're gonna cover this string a little bit more in combos because this string, EI 1, 2, is launch on block. I wouldn't even consider using this move. It's really not great. I mean, it has an extension, but they're both launch on block. This is minus 19 on block, and then this is launch minus 18 on block. So yeah, it's um they're both launch. Same with up one plus two, but we're gonna talk about that in heat because I feel like that's more of a move you would use in heat. This is not good out of heat. It's only good in heat. So when we get to the heat section, I'm gonna talk about up one plus two a little bit more and the application behind it. So that's EI in a nutshell. So let's talk about wall combos and wall carry for a second. So Victor does a lot of wall carry. I'm talking a lot of wall carry. So as I was saying before, you can actually incorporate EI and Perfuma into his combos. So his basic B and B combo, the, the easiest one you can do is from a launcher is like down forward two, down forward three, four, which is his main filler in combos. So launch down forward three, four, same with four, four, two, down four, three, four. So that's his main filler, his main starter filler in combos. So then you would do for the easy BNB down forward four, two to go into EI. And then you would use a screw attack, EI2. So to put that all together, it looks like this. So now he's in a tailspin situation or tornado attack situation. So then let's go back. Side step left. And he's nearly at the wall. So you need to side step left in order to get the EI1-2 wall carry. Now, if you don't want to go for wall carry and you want to go for easy damage, you can just finish the string. It's like this. You must side step left though, because it this will whiff otherwise. So you can get easy damage like that. But now if I wanted to wall carry, so let's do this. Is that the wall now from that combo? So he does do a lot of damage and wall carry. But let's look at a harder combo from down forward two. So I'm going to do default three to switch the stage. So this would be... This would be the combo you would do for extra wall carry. This does so much more wall carry than the other one. I'm going to break the combo down. So again, down forward three, four after a launch. Now we're going to do down back one, one into Perfuma. So this goes into Perfuma by pressing down back one, one forward. While we're in this stance, we press two, two, one for the high spin. But what that looks like is this. Then we do a delayed forward, forward two. For the tail spin. And then you can do four, three, two. But the first four has to whiff. Or you can do up one plus two for the same damage. So I'm going to show you the damage comparison. It's the same. So that's 63. 63 as well. So this is just easier, but this looks more flash. So, And um, yeah, this opens you up for a run in two or this just better Oki. Okay. And it carries to the wall a little bit more with 4-3-2. So that's that combo. But that's kind of his 
B and B combo. So you have an easy one and a slightly harder one. And then if you want to go for like uh, if the, the wall is close and you don't want to take them too, too far, you can do while standing two. So that's a good move, like a single wall carry move or while standing one plus two. So that's that's actually quite good as well. But while standing two carries them a little bit less. While standing one plus two carries them a bit further. So yeah, you can use those moves to wall carry if the wall is really close and you don't want to do something like this after the tailspin or this. Now let's look at hot kick. So hot kick, you would use Perfuma one. So a couple of his launchers, you use Perfuma one as a kind of filler into while standing four and then down back one one. So I'm gonna show you the hot kick combo. So that's the hot kick combo that you would do. So another kind of combo star you can do Perfuma one from is while standing one. So again, decent damage. One and two, same thing. You can actually do dash heat burst as well, but I'm gonna cover kind of heat combos and heat application within combos in the heat section. But let me just show you what I mean. So counter hit. Look at the damage. 101 damage from a run into is insane. So given the right situation, Victor does a lot of damage. Victor's combos are pretty easy once you just understand the fillers. They're not too, too hard. And you can pretty much do the same filler or combo route for every combo. So it doesn't really have any combo launcher specific routes. It's mainly just, you know, if it kind of crumples, you can do a FEMA one. And then if it's a straight launch, this is the combo you would do. Or this one for easy, just easier combo. You can also set up Oki from this as well. So yeah, you can set up Oki as well, like stuff like that. But generally the combos are the same for every launcher. So that was kind of mid screen combos. Let's look at wall combos and wall strings that you would use for wall combos. Okay. Let's say normal wall splat. What do you do from a normal wall splat? A normal wall splat, you would do 4-3, delayed 2. So it would look like this. Because you want to get that grounded hit. If you do it normally, if you don't delay it, you're not going to get the grounded hit. So less damage. So let's delay it a little bit. More damage. See? So that's his basic combo. I think the easy one would be jab, down for one, down for three plus four. Down for three plus four is the shoulder. So that one is an easy combo. If you're not sure how the wall's gonna, you don't know what the wall splat is, you can just do down for one, down for three plus four. So that's a fail safe wall combo. But if you really wanna optimize, you can do four, three, delay two, or you can do this one, forward two, two, one, one. So that one does, I think does the most damage after a tailspin at the wall. So if you do a tailspin like this, you can't actually do this combo. So you would have to do down forward one, down forward three plus four, or that string that I just showed you. Forward forward two, two, one, one. This does the most damage. So it depends because on a regular wall splat, this does the most damage, 58, 57, 54. So you kind of just have to be the judge of the wall and how many hits you've done. If you tell, if you tell spin at the wall, he has three options. An easy one, that's a fail safe. So what I mean by fail safe is if you tell spun them at the wall, down for one, down for two plus four will always work. This will always work. Similarly with this one, or it will always work. So this one is just the easy one to do if you're not sure which one you use for optimization for combo damage. And then the other ones depend on the wall splat. So this one does more damage if you haven't tailspun them yet. Now, if you tailspin, this one does the most damage. That string. I'm going to show you again. 
does the most damage. So you have three options mainly for wall combos. So we've covered wall combos. We've covered kind of easy BNBs from various launchers. What about heat combos? The main heat attack you would use is forward one plus two in combos for combo damage. So you would actually just do forward one plus two as the heat dash and then up one plus two. This is pretty much the same for all launchers after heat burst. And it does quite a lot of damage because up one plus two on the grounded hit does loads of damage. So let's look at a more damaging launcher. So as you can see. And this is not affected by the wall as well. It works at the wall. So 101 damage for a run into. Victor does a lot of damage depending on the launcher. Rule of thumb, if you have heat to burn, you can just do heat burst, forward one plus two, and then up one plus two. That's kind of the most combo damage in heat. So now we're on heat, let's talk about his heat engages. So what are Victor's heat engages? So Victor's heat engages are forward four one. So this is used for his I-14 punish, or this is also I-14. We're gonna do a little punishment section at the end. But this is his I-14 mid-high. This also is a heat dash move because it's a heat engager. So that's the combo you would do. So that's forward 4-1. Four heat engager. And then obviously heat dash. Up one plus two for more damage. So another heat engager is down two. So down two is also a heat dash launcher. So it actually fully launches. So that's down two. Forward one plus two. Again, heat dash launcher. As you can see, so his back one plus two is also a heat engage. Now this doesn't launch. You only get up one plus two. So I'm going to show you again. Quite a bit of damage. 57 damage for a power crush is crazy. But this power crush is really, really strong. High, safe, and very quick. 15 frames. So excellent power crush. So that's his back one plus two in heat. Now his final heat engager is Fuma three. So it launches as well. So on activation, this is what it looks like. So this one is good. A very, very oppressive mid. So yeah, crazy range. But those are his heat engagers. I've shown you kind of how to apply heat in combos. Let's look at heat power up moves because in heat, Victor gets some nice power up attacks. So he gets down back one plus two that goes into EI stance. So on block, this is actually plus six. So you can actually frame trap after this move. It's really good. Mainly the frame trap you would want to use is just EI one and then go for an option there. So, I mean, you can do other mix ups and stuff, but I typically tend to do EI one or one one cancel. So yeah. That's down back one plus two. And that's a heat exclusive move because that's not an input in out of heat. So as you can see, I'm pressing down back one plus two and nothing's happening. It has to be in heat. That's a heat exclusive move. The thing with Victor's expulsion move, which is up one plus two, in heat is powered up to do loads more chip. Now, I just want to bring to attention, if you land a heat engager, you can do three of these attacks in heat without running out. As you can see. So you can do three. Now, if we heat burst, a chunk is taken off already. Similarly, if we cancel it, so we can only do two. So you have to be careful with Victor's heat usage because you can run out spamming this move, but it is really, really good. So the normal one is launch on block. So we'll go into block all, or minus 20 on block, which is crazy. And then the heat version is, I think it's minus five, minus four on block. So. And just look, look at the chip damage. It does. Hold on. Let's see how much chip it's doing. It does 24 chip, I believe. So that is insane. That's insane. And then on hit, it does more damage as well. So the normal one does 40 damage. Now the heat version does something like 50, yeah, 54. So that's why even the normal version does a lot of damaging combos but yeah this one is just ridiculous and it has tracking it's going to track sidestep left and then sidestep right yeah i think you might be able to step this sidestep right but 
I'm not sure. Yeah, you can sidestep it, sidestep right. But the further away you are, the harder it is to step. So just keep that in mind. It does have really, really good tracking. And um, yeah, it's just an excellent move to throw out in heat. And uh, let's look at heat smash. So heat smash is a low, low attack. Like a low sword sweep. Can't be low parried because it's a sword. It doesn't do the most damage, but I mean, for what it is, it's a low attack, right? So I don't think low attack should do crazy damage anyway. The one thing to say is it is launch on block. If you block the low, it's minus 15. Yeah, so you can actually launch it with the majority of the cast. It's one thing to keep in mind, but it is still a good heat smash. Breaks balconies and it breaks walls. So let's look at it on hit. It breaks balconies and breaks walls. Yeah, as you can see on the hit properties, I'm going to show you it again. Kind of had a green wall break property. So look, has that green symbol. So that means it breaks walls and it breaks balconies. So that's kind of Victor's heat in a nutshell. Let's cover punishment quickly. So his I-10 punish is 112. His 12 frame, he doesn't have an 11 frame punish. His 12 frame is 3, 1 plus 2. Now his 13 frame is... Personally, for me, there's two. There's down forward 4-2 to go into EI at plus four. So this would be a frame trap. Or you can do up forward 1-1, one, one, which I think is the better punish personally because you can do this from full crouch. So if you block a minus 13 low, up forward 1-1. One, one. So I just think this punish is better because it leaves you in a better position as well. I mean, this one is good. It, it does more damage, but I just think this one leaves you in a better position personally um i prefer for one one but they're both really really good punishes i mean you use them for different reasons you use this for a mix-up if you want to force something at the end of the round or even if you just want to go for a mix this one is really 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 good but this one is better like by the wall because this doesn't wall splat whereas this one actually wall splats so you get more damage from this see what i mean so that's why you would use that over down forward four two but they're still very, very good punishes. You also have 2-2-2 two, two, two for 12 frame. So let me go back a frame. So for 12 frame, you have 2-2-2 two, two, two at plus 4. So same situation as down forward 4-2, but just with 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Same frame advantage, but just at 12 frames. So this one is good. They're both good, I think. This one's plus 5 on hit. And then this one is plus four and hit in two stance. So both pretty good punishes, 12 frame. And then your 13 frames are down forward forward two or forward one one. Let's look at 14 frames now. So 14 frame comes from down forward three plus four, or you can do forward four strings. So forward four two or forward four one. So forward four one goes into heat. And then forward for two forces crouch for a one plus two, which is a counter hit launcher. Pretty good damage. Let's do that again because it whiffed. So 74 damage from one plus two. So last but not least is I-15, 15, 15 frame launcher is down for two. Or you can actually do hop kick. I feel like there's less application with this move. So you can do this from a down for two, whereas hop kick it's hard to actually implement heat. About the same damage. I think Hop Kick does a little bit more with the optimal combo. 64. Because it hit the wall, so it gave one more point. So 64 versus 63. I mean, for extra combo utility and wall carry and all that stuff, I think Downfall 2 is the better launcher, personally. So those are his 15 frame launchers. So that is punishment covered. His while standing punishment is while standing 4 for I-11. And then for I-13, you would do up forward 1-1. One, one. It doesn't have an I-12 punish. This is I-13, but this is a better I-13 punish. And then 
I mean, I guess you could use this if you want to go into stance for a mix. But I think for guaranteed damage of Ford 1 1 is better. And then for launch, while standing 1, 15 frames. Or hop kick. Because you can do it from full crouch. So that is Victor, not in a nutshell. It's been a very, very long video. But I just felt like I'm more in a position to give you guys an advanced Victor guide. He's super, super fun. I feel like because he's new and people don't know the matchup, people are playing him a little bit. I feel like he is really, really strong, but he's not broken at all. I feel like they fixed his one throw or his generic throw, throw, win, throw break window. So he can't abuse throws anymore. The only thing that might need adjusting is his heat or one plus two tracking. But again, you can sidestep this right. So in my opinion, Victor's very committal. His whiff recovery is terrible. But his generic tools are really good. His damage output's really good. His wall carry is good. He has great mental stack and, and mental frames. And he has very oppressive stance mix-ups and stance tools. And he can kind of skip skip neutral um, pretty easily with one and two. Very oppressive moves. He has great punishment as well. Good while standing punishment because of, of Ford 1-1. One, one. And then, um, yeah. His low pokes do the job. They do what they need to do. Good full crouch game. While standing to counter hit. So, he's a very, very well-rounded character. I just feel like he's very committal. And if you know the matchup and know his options and know when to step him or make him whiff. If you make Victor whiff, he's dead. So, that's the thing. I don't think he's broken. He's just a strong character. So, I hope you enjoyed. Peace.